In this video, I'm going to show you what a skew symmetric matrix is and explain how you can tell that a matrix is skew symmetric. And the first step is to understand matrix symmetry and symmetric matrices, and then we can extend that definition to look at skew symmetric matrices. So the rule for a symmetric matrix is it's symmetric if A equals A transpose. So we have a matrix here A, and if we find the transpose, A transpose, by turning the rows into columns, so we've got the first row here becomes a column here, the second row here becomes a column here, and then the third row here becomes a column here. And you can immediately see by comparing A and A transpose that taking the transpose hasn't actually changed the matrix at all. The two are exactly equal to each other, so therefore you have a symmetric matrix. You can also see this visually if you look at the leading diagonal here, and you can see that across this leading diagonal, almost like you fold the matrix in half about it, You've got 7 and 7, 3 and 3, minus 5, minus 5. So you've got a symmetry. So therefore, you have a symmetric matrix. In the case of a skew symmetric matrix, you have a similarly simple rule with a slight change. So a matrix is skew symmetric if A transpose is equal to the negative of your matrix A. So if you find the transpose of A and it's equal to exactly the negative by every single element of your original matrix A, you have a skew symmetric matrix. And you can actually use two quite simple and quick visual checks to see if a matrix has a chance of being skew symmetric. So let's look at this matrix here. So firstly, in order to be skew symmetric, you must have a square matrix. Non-square matrices are never going to be skew symmetric. So if it's non-square, just immediately don't bother doing any proof. Just say it's not skew symmetric because it isn't going to be. The second one is that the leading diagonals must be zero. So if you have any numbers on these leading diagonals, it's going to immediately tell you that that matrix is not going to be skew symmetric. Because when you find the transpose, these elements don't actually change position. So they're not going to switch signs, so you're not going to have a skew symmetric matrix. So let's look at this in practice and just look at some simple examples that we can immediately tell if they're skew symmetric or not. The first one, immediately, not skew symmetric. Leading diagonals, not all zero, therefore can't be skew symmetric. In the second case, we've got a similar matrix. Again, immediately can tell the leading diagonals are wrong, can't be skew symmetric. We look at this one, it looks a bit better, but it's a non-square matrix, so it's not going to be skew symmetric. So we can say, nope, that one's not skew symmetric. The next one, we've got the leading diagonals that are zero, and we've got a square matrix. So this one has a chance of being skew symmetric. So this one, you'd actually have to do the check to see if it was skew symmetric or not. So you see how that visual check, you can immediately rule out the vast majority of all matrices that you come across and know that they're not skew symmetric and only focus on those that actually have a chance of being skew symmetric. So let's look at a matrix that has a chance of being skew symmetric that follows the two visual checks. So immediately this is a three by three matrix, so it's a square matrix and the leading diagonals are all zero, so it might be skew symmetric. What we can do now is we can find the transpose of that matrix by turning the rows into columns, we get the transpose there. And then what we can do is we can find minus A. And we find minus A by simply taking every single element and switching sign. So the 1 becomes minus 1, minus 2 becomes 2, minus 1 becomes 1, and so on for each element. Then you compare the two. You look at A transpose, you look at minus A. Firstly, they have to be the same dimension. You've got a 3 by 3 matrix, a 3 by 3 matrix. And then you look at each individual element. So you compare the... 1, 1 to the 1, 1, they are equal. You compare the second element to the second element, this element to this element, and you just go through every single element, and you can immediately see that these two are equal. And because we've satisfied the condition that A transpose is equal to minus A, we've proven that this matrix is a skew symmetric matrix. So I hope this video was helpful to you. If this has cleared up skew symmetric matrices for you, I'd appreciate if you'd subscribe below. And finally, thank you very much for watching.